To simulate and illustrate this first module on usage of tools in the Inspector PI50, we will solve this application given to us by customer XYZ. Customer always has this numeric code at the bottom of this barcode and it's always relative to the barcode. Customer wants to make sure that this particular code is always there. They also want to verify that this SICK logo is complete. So it's got four characters instead of three or two or none. And they want to make sure that this graphics is there. We'll make sure that we have a good contrast and a good focus to start with. We will then teach the reference object. This is the first thing that's different. In the previous version of Inspector, it would by default put in an object locator for you. In the PI50, you have to manually click on the object locator and insert it. This is because you may not want to use an object locator due to the availability of other tools like the polygon and the blob finder. So we will try to use the object locator on the barcode. We will mask the middle portion of it so that we only locate the boundaries around the object locator because the bars in the middle could be different if it's a slightly different barcode. And we will use an edge pixel counter to see if the text at the bottom is there or not there. The setting for the edge pixel counter appears on the right hand side and whatever is in green shows how many edge pixels are there. I will start with the midpoint of that to verify if enough text is there or not. And when we look at the live image, that works well. For the SICK logo, I will use a tool called Blob Finder. And by default, some settings or thresholds are configured for us that we can tweak further if we want. Whatever is in green is what's detected. Whatever has a plus sign is what's identified by the blob tool. So if I look at the results, the blob finder tool has capability of finding up to 16 blobs, but in this case, it only finds three and we have the X, Y, area and other information for each of the blobs. We can see the eye is not detected because it's got lower area than the rest of them. We can change that and decrease the minimum area until the eye is detected. And now we have four blobs detected and we have information for all of them. Okay, Nothing here because there is no fifth blob available. The one with the circle around it is the biggest blob because under the blob tool we have sorted it by area. Finally, for the graphics at the bottom we will use the pattern tool. And the pattern tool as you know looks for pixels, every pixel in that area and compares it to whatever is taught will allow for a flexibility of plus or minus four pixels so that if the graphics ch position changes we can still detect it reliably and we will increase the match percentage to about 70 percent. Now that all our inspections are done we can look at the live image. As long as I'm in the field of view but if I'm rotated my inspection is gonna be pass I'm outside the field of view, that's going to be fail. However, let's say that the customer tells us that the barcode could be rotated, but the SICK logo and the graphics is always in the same exact location every time. Now we want the numeric code inspection to be relative to the object locator, however the inspection for the SICK logo which is the blob finder and the pattern tool we want those to be not related to the object locator and that's a very simple change under the pattern tool we can make that to be fixed in the field of view and under the blob tool we can make that to be
fixed in the field of view. And now you start seeing that those two inspections also pass because they are no longer related to the object locator.